Hello guys, you join me back at the ponds for another video. And today I'm just going to be doing kind of like a, a little update. Um, I don't really know, I'm going to show you some of the things that I've actually done since the last video. Some things I've found and some things you might not know about this pond. Alright then, let's, let's get on with this thing. So, if you have a dirty pond and you want to make it clear, many clay is the type of thing you need. Helps the fish's colours, perks them up in my opinion, and ooh, light. Adds minerals to the water, which, you know, when you do a water change, the tap water lacks in minerals. So it's important you add them, as well as all your other stuff like your GH, KH, they all have minerals. Keep it on top of those things as well. It's very important for growth, vitality, and keeping up water quality and aeration, oxygenation. All keeps these fish going as they should be. I have a surgeon. I'm just going to put a little video up after this. So, hopefully you've seen the sturgeon. He's grown so much in this pond, and he will be eventually going to a different pond, as I said. Bigger pond. Um, but if you have one, very important, you have aeration and oxygenation. Very, very important. Um, they like the oxygen. They need good water quality. And he's been doing really well in this pond. Comes right up to the surface hand feet and everything. Well, I think the Mediclay actually perks him right up, but you've got to be careful with certain treatments that you use with the sturgeon. So I can't use formula, so I might have to do a few formula dips. Um, so I don't know really. Um, the box filters, I just wipe them down now and again because they do get dirty. Right, because when it rains, pressure filter looks good. This has gone rusty though. Um, just a paint, I think. Yeah, it's just a paint. Hopefully it won't rust away fully, but I can always buy a new one. There's lots of parts for these. There's lots of parts. So, you know, it's, it's easy to get hold of one. And one of the reasons why I have done the system as it is, is because this has a built-in UV. Um, like that. So, you know, keeps the water nice and clear. Got my aerator in here. A lot of you guys don't know about this aerator. There it is, super fish. Right, now let me show you what I use to measure my koi. So, I used to use this koi bowl at the bottom, foldable. Now I use this one, depending on what I want to, you know, bolt it up. But, got, got my, um, Measurements in there goes up to 45, but I can get 55, I think. Um, I use this for my water changes on my tanks, and this all is really good stuff. And this I nicked off my mum, I'm pretty sure it was my mum's, so I just took it. She doesn't know really. Um, and that's about it. Um, Thanks a lot for all the new subscribers, as I said earlier. Um, I think I've got 150 views on one video that I made. Um, that was with the coin tunnel and netting. So I'm really happy. Um, I get a buzz from all this stuff. So, yeah. Thanks guys for watching. It's enough of me talking today. And I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you want. Bye-bye.